Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Lachelle here and today we are going to just go straight into doing this look. Okay, so it's the holidays and you know everybody had a sale. Today is the Monday after Cyber Monday and I just went a little bit overboard with the makeup shopping. Okay, um, but today I want to do a look using the Natasha Denona Mini Sunset Palette because literally this is probably like one of the only palettes I can afford because her regular size palettes are over $100 and it's a little bit too steep for my budget. But um, I really, really like this palette. I did it on a model this weekend and so I'm excited to redo it for, um, for myself. I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to post pictures, but I'm going to show you guys exactly how I got that look this weekend. So before we go into this, so today is going to be all about a nice, um, since it's called the Mini Sunset Palette, it's going to be a um, just a nice dewy, a nice glowy, glowy look today. I do want to try out some new techniques. So today is also going to be about that. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be doing yet, but I will take you guys on a trial run. Just going to be using, I'm going to be giving that Smashbox foundation another try. And I am going to be using a cream um, foundation, like a mixture to highlight. I don't know yet, but... I'm going to walk y'all through, okay? So let's get started. Let's go straight into this look. This is the intro right here. I'm going to go in with my Caudalie Beauty Elixir. Spray it all over the face. And then I am going to moisturize with my Clinique Smart Night. I moisturized earlier, but my face still feels dry. And um, because I'm going to be using a hydrating foundation, I want my face to be moisturized really, really well. Okay, moving on, I am going to go in, since I'm using Smashbox, I'm gonna go in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I'm gonna prime my face. I notice, um, especially with using um, hydrating and creamy products, it's very important to prime under the eyes, especially. Good, I don't want no crease in. So if this is your first time to my page, welcome. And while we are getting into this look, go ahead and hit the subscribe button for me. Just join the family and hit the notification bell so that you know when I upload another video. And leave a comment. If you're watching this video, if you have any questions, leave a comment and let me know below. All right, so moving right along. I bought, there was this Cover FX, these mini custom enhancer drops. And they had a sale um, at Sephora over the weekend, sometime last week. I think it was like a Cyber Monday sale or something like that. Yeah, they had this, the four pack, I think was originally like $50, the mini pack, but it was on sale for $29. So I definitely picked that up. So this is what I'm going to do. I am going to add this to my face and I'm gonna mix this with my foundation. So, I'm gonna add some drops, darling. A little goes a long way and I think I went a little bit overboard, but it's okay. So I am going to take my Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation and this is in the color 4.05. And I am going to add this to my skin. Oh, look at that glow. <laughs> That's exactly what we are going for. Oh, so nice. So nice. All right, now for my highlight and contour, I am going to be using this Graptobian um, HD Glamour Cream Super Palette in the color Warm. I am going to be mixing two colors for my highlight, these two right here. And um, because this thing is upside down, I don't even know exactly, let's see. These two right here is called Winter Wheat and Deep Xanthe. All right, so I have a nice mix here. I'm trying to look at it. And I'm going to start placing it in the areas where I would normally highlight.
Now I'm gonna buff in my contour with my Real Techniques face brush. It's like a buffing brush. Yeah, that brush just was not working. Morphe brush. That brush was too dense. Now I'm gonna blend out my nose contour with my Morphe M173 brush. Alright, so I did my brows off camera and now I am going to go in with a new powder, okay? No MAC Mineralized Skin Finish today. Let's go in with Clay Medium Dark because I know Amon products, they, they are known to oxidize as well. She warm, she nice, she smooth. She's definitely the look that I'm going for. Iman, yeah, Iman, Iman, loving it. So that was Earth Medium. So now I am going to bronze with, I wonder if I should go in with Anastasia. You know what, I'm gonna mix Anastasia. This is the color mahogany and I'm going to mix it with cola. But what do you guys think? I love it. I'm trying to see. I'm trying to check myself out. So I'm gonna go in and bronze. Perfect. All right, so this palette is so nice, guys. And um, yeah, I will, let's dive straight into this look. So. Oh, check. A little snappy. All right, so, oh God, when it's on the back, I don't know which way is which. So this has to be Halo, Sunbeam, Dirty Mars, Apollo, and Guava. So I'm going to go in with that dark brown color, which is Dirty Mars, and I am going to apply it in my crease. Then I am going to go in with the color, oh God, what color is this, guava? I think this is guava. I am going to blend over Dirty Mars. So now I'm going to add a little bit of my NYX um, eyeshadow base. Then I am going to blend it. So now, we are going to go in with this color called Sunbeam, which is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful gold. I'm going to apply it to the middle of my lid. Oh, such a gorgeous color. And I could possibly get away with using my finger because it's a nice creamy shadow. I notice creamy shadows go on really, really well with a warm finger. Oh yeah. There we go. Yes, baby. Let me love you a long time. Oh yeah, loving that. All right, and then we are going to go in for the inner part of the lid with the color, this is Halo. All right, so now I'm going to go back in with Dirty Mars and I am going to go under my waterline. Okay, now that that's, that's there, now I'm going to go in with the only color left, which is Apollo, and I am going to go over Dirty Mars underneath my waterline. Hold on now, starting to get an idea. I wanna take some of that Apollo actually and I wanna go over my black liner. I don't know, I just wanna try it. Let's see, so I'm gonna go in with an angle brush and I am going to try to color, oh, oh. 
There we go. All right, so now I am going to go in with um, Juvia's Place. These are Afrique blushes. The first color is Sarafina, which is a light, um, like a coral. Oh, can't really see it. It's not showing up too good in the light. Yeah, if I turn it that way, you can see it. And then this one is like a darker coral. You can see it. There we go. These blushes are really nice. So after that, I am going to take Gold Deposit and Trophy Wife by Rihanna, Fenty Beauty, and Gold Deposit by MAC. I'm going to mix these two and then just add even more dimension to my highlight. So these are two different types of golds. And I am going to just bim chakalaka. Mm, there we go. All right, and for the lips, I am going to go in with Cork by MAC. I'm going to line my lips. Then I'm going to take the color Soil. This is a liquid lipstick by Juvia's Place as well, and I am going to go in. You know what I want to do? Actually, I'm going to go over cork with Latte by Tarte. This is a brown liquid lipstick. All right, so Latte. Now we're going to go back over it with Soil. Then I'm going to add a little bit of Maybelline Super Matte Super Stay Ink in the color Driver and just add just a tad bit in the center. Then I'm going to finish off with the Urban, De Urban Decay De Slick Setting Spray. Whew, honey, it's not summertime, but oh, I feel the heat, honey. <laughs> love it i really 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 like how this look came out um you guys let me know what you think let me go do something with my hair first though because my hair looks a hot mess and i am kind of ashamed to even take this thing off in this camera but that's another video i'm about to film because my hair is a hot mess so i'm gonna film a wash and go for you guys and i'll be back show you how she come out okay i'll see you don't go nowhere all right